Like many other players, you may have experienced a black screen while playing Need for Speed Heat. Many Need for Speed games and even console versions suffer from this issue. If you're having this issue and don't know what to do, here are the solutions that you must do. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, close the game in Task Manager. If you're stuck and can't do anything because the game has turned into a black screen that won't let you do anything, the first thing you can do is restart it. The best way to do that is to use Task Manager by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete, find the game under the Processes tab, and click the End Task button. Next, ensure that your PC can run the game. Before installing a game, you should check your PC as best you can. If you haven't done that yet, you can check to see if your PC meets the minimum system requirements. If you want the most out of your computer, you should make sure it meets or exceeds the recommended system requirements. Next, install software updates. Make sure that all of the software on your PC is up to date as a first step toward fixing the need for speed heat error. To do this, you must check to see if there are any updates for these things. Apps such as games, drivers particularly for your GPU drivers, Windows operating system. Before you do any of the other things on this video, make sure that all of these software parts are running the latest version. Next, do not overclock. Overclocking could be to blame if an FS heat has an error, keeps crashing, or stops working. Try turning off overclocking on the hardware in question and see if that helps. If you don't overclock your CPU or GPU, this solution doesn't make sense, so just skip it. Next, try running the game on windowed mode. If the game starts up normally, but then the screen goes black, it's possible that your computer has a display problem. Alternately, you might try switching to windowed mode by hitting Alt plus Enter buttons on your keyboard. This time around, if you want to play the game in windowed mode, you'll need to go into the game settings and make sure the resolution is set to your monitor's native resolution. Next, turn off display scaling in NVIDIA control panel. Some gamers were able to get rid of the DirectX problem by disabling display scaling on their graphics processing unit. Try that and see what happens. Open NVIDIA control panel. On the left pane, select adjust desktop size and position. On the right pane, under apply the following settings, select no scaling. Click on apply. Like with the display, you may deactivate scaling on the GPU side as well. Here's how. Open NVIDIA control panel. On the left pane, select Adjust Desktop Size and Position. On the right pane, under Apply the following settings, select No Scaling. Under Perform Scaling On, select GPU. Click on Apply. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.